Coventry Cross has Street Fighter Tournament. How do you think it will go today? It's going to be very interesting today because we have a, fl a few players that actually have some experience with Street Fighter. A few new players that are going to go against those experienced players. So those matches are going to be in interesting. See how that goes. There's probably going to be a lot of button mashing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the actual games. So, yeah, we're going to get started and get into the first game here, which is Nataj versus Isaac. Nataj versus Isaac. Who do you think will take the win on this one? Uh, well, I saw Nataj playing before the stream started. Nataj, was, he played like three games. He yeah. improved drastically over those three games. Isaac, I didn't see play, because I don't think they did play. Well, the uh, the games Nataj played before match, he did very, very well. He did very well. He was very playing well. Very unexpectedly well. He was playing against someone who had experience and was able to clinch out a round or two. He was doing yeah. very well. Yeah. Definitely won two rounds there, didn't he? Definitely, yeah. Right. Sorry, we're going to get into the gameplay here. Ready now. So we're going to transition to the main game here. And we're going to see who's playing who. So we've got Nathaj versus Isaac. Just wondering what characters they're going to pick. I think, I think it might be Luke, Luke and Jamie, but no, it's I don't, I we're just don't waiting for the players to yeah, start Yeah, we're waiting now. for them to realise that they can so. start now. So we're waiting for them to pick characters. So, yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit slow on their end. They're just getting ready, yeah, you know, they're, they're a little bit like nervous. Hyping themselves up, you know. Hyping themselves up. They're not paying attention as much to us, just paying attention to the, uh, to the game, so just how it is, but right. looks like they are picking players now. Here we go, we have, a, we have a Ryu versus a Blanca it looks like. Isaac on the Blanca, very interesting. Isaac might be opting for the classic, nope, okay goes to the modern controls, okay yeah. We're getting, we're and we're getting into the game now. Alright, we have the game here between Ryu and the Blanca. Who do you think going to take this one? Ooh, I don't know, I feel like Isaac might clutch it. I feel like the Blanca is definitely a wild card pick. Oh yeah. Ryu is uh, he's a very basic character to play, but Blanca's definitely got some advantages in his kit. There we go, into the game now. Let's see how this goes. We have Natal starting out with the Tatsu, into the jabs. Eyes with the medium punch, into the special. Cancelling the Hadouken from Natal. Both getting some footsies in the air now. Both drive parrying. Isaac with the blocks, the counter. Isaac creating some really good corner pressure here against Nataj. Nataj getting a hard knockdown. Nataj switching it up to get Ooh. Isaac in the corner. Into the drive impact from Nataj. Drive Isaac. impact was insane. But unfortunately, didn't get enough knockout. Nataj gets the wall split with the drive impact. Gets sure you can up it. Taking a few kicks to the face there. Dodging the drive impact with the sure you can. Into the drive parry. Isaac blocks the drive impact from Nataj. This game is definitely getting interesting. Who's going to take round one? Isaac on low HP with Nataj on a little bit more. Nataj and finishing it up with the OD Shore you can. Oh my god. Nataj That's getting the knockout in round, round one. That is a very good first round. Into round two here. Let's see if Isaac can try and clutch it out. Or will Nataj Into take the win? Or will Nataj take the win? That is the question. Both just kind of so. getting pokes at each other now, trying to get an option, get trying to get an opportunity to get a heavy kick out. Nataj is hitting with the combos. It looks like Isaac going low on HP again. Isaac with the drive impact gets the punish up there. Ooh, spinning and kicking him. Hadouken and sure you can both missing from Nataj. Nataj oh, hitting him with the drive hit. impact. Isaac on low HP again. It looks like Nataj might be the one to take this game. Nataj takes the game. And he knocks him out. That is game one of this best of three set. So, uh, it should be a Nataj taking now. that game one. Against Isaac there. Just the players just wait, wait, wait. waiting again. Best of three, the loser can switch character. Yeah, I'm just having some issues with uh, the loser can switch character. Yeah. The players. Nataj can't. So just players are the rules right now, so you kind of have to explain it to them mid tournament. It's kind of complicated. Yeah. So after the round, the loser can switch character. However, the winner cannot. 
Yeah. Um, is it going with the E Honda? E time? Honda. Oh, never mind. Oh, going never with mind. the Chun Li, maybe? Thanks, the Chun Li. Going with the Chun Li versus Ryu matchup. A classic Street Fighter duel. Classic Street Fighter duel, and maybe be very close. Ryu walking. Ryu walking very seriously. This could be a very interesting match because Chun Li has a lot of quick options. And I feel like Isaac might be able to take take the toll on this one. Isaac might be able to get the read from the first match. But however, if Isaac, Isaac does like, lose this, Isaac, it is into, over. And sent into the losers bracket. Sent into the losers bracket. Isaac the place starting where off strong. Do not want to be. Isaac starting off very strong with the drive impact. Not touching him with counter play. Misses the short you can. Isaac still no, putting that pressure quite, on no, health, with no. the driving pack again. Double driving pack from that one, though. With the driving pack from Isaac now hitting. The perfect parry from Narkaj, that is very impressive. Let's see what both players can do there. Narkaj now in burnt out and cannot use any of his driving moves. Hitting with the driving pack, this could be Isaac's round for win. Both just playing footsie, Narkaj waiting for the burnout recovery. Some good counter hits there from Isaac. Both players switching in and out of the corner. Misses the sure you can, that could have been a finish, but Isaac did not see it unfortunately. Narthos playing very well for the for the stall to get his back, but Isaac takes the kill. Isaac takes the KO. And he's run the first round of game two. And how did, how did you feel about that? That was a very interesting round. Isaac was playing a lot better than the first round. Putting a lot more pressure on Narthos than he did before. The drive impact connecting onto Nartaj. Nartaj like, getting a few jabs Isaac in. Isaac getting the jabs in, of course. Drive impact getting blocked. Both of them just playing the neutral game now, trying to see what they don't want else to do. They don't want to commit too much. Because committing too much could finish the world. Nartaj hitting him with the drive impact. In the Tatsu. With the counter drive impact from Isaac coming out. The potential kicks Ooh. coming out now from Isaac. Isaac's putting a lot of pressure on Nartaj here. With the OD Tatsu coming in. That pipe, oh, I didn't see it. Putting him up into the air. Uh... Oh? Isaac might be able to hit this game. Nartaj on very it's low very, health. Both players, both on very low. And, and Isaac uh, taking the game. Isaac kicking him into the air and getting the KO. That's taking game two. Now we're on to the third and final match of this set. Oh. Very interesting. Nataj and Isaac going straight in with the rematch. Two nils for both games. It could go either both way. Both players are 1-1 right now. This could be very interesting. The OD sure you can come out from, uh, from Nataj. The miss. Potential kicks with the drive impact. Not hitting the punish counter though. But the punish counter Ooh. coming out from Nataj. Hitting into the Tatsu. Now both players kind of playing more neutral. The driving pack again getting hit. Isaac Unfortunately missed the second escape. one. Blocks the driving pack from Nartaj. Isaac was trying to escape, but he comes back with a counter. Isaac now putting more corner pressure on Nartaj, but Nartaj being able to escape the corner of the shore, you can hit him with the Tatsu. In the Tensho kicks from Isaac. Isaac putting a oh not Nartaj, uh, Nartaj putting a lot of pressure on Isaac. Not uh, Isaac with the drive reversal. Keep getting the names mixed up. I apologize. The driving pack to finish off the first round for Nartaj. That was a very wow. intense first round. Nartaj was kind of able to read Isaac's movements a lot better that round. Kind of adapt to him and be able to be more calm. So Nartaj on the advantage now after being one round up in that last game. We we'll do wonder what goes on this game. Can Isaac reverse sweep this last round? and get it to the win and go into the next bracket. Isaac putting pressure on the jabs. Nartaj being able to hit him with the heavier punches and kicks. Able to do more damage with the only sure you can come out. But the drive impact cancels out his special moves. But Nartaj is just able to counter all his moves. Now Nartaj is in burnout. So if he gets hit with the drive impact. Isaac on his last piece of the health bar now. Nartaj Nart able to clinch out the round. Nartaj getting the KO after going down and losing the game in the second round. And then he comes back in that third game, takes the win. 
And uh, was we expecting that? Honestly, I was expecting a lot worse from both players as they've both started playing Street Fighter today. Yeah, I mean, considering they've only played today, it, it almost seemed like they knew exactly what to do. Yeah, both players completely new to the game. Like, learning the controls 10 minutes ago, it's very impressive that they were able to do a game like that. Unless it was just a common case of the button mashing, but we'll never know. We'll never know. We will never know. And it could have just been a bit lucky, but... It could have been very... It could have been pure luck and pure mashing. But from what we saw, there seemed to be an element of skill with it. See, do you know who has the best experience in this tournament? In this whole tournament, I'm pretty sure the, the player with the most experience is Greg. Greg's Greg. been playing Street Fighter for ages. He's old. Ah, he's old, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, quite he's old, very yeah. old. <laughs> he's very old. He's our teacher. Greg, don't don't hate us, please. Yeah, Greg, we're, did you play just, it in the arcades talk- or not? <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking from what we know. <laughs> All we know is that Greg's been playing Street Fighter for many years. Many years. Yeah, he's, he's old. Um, so... Do you, who do you think will take the next round? Because we've got Jack Hyatt. No, we have Jack Hyatt versus Greg. Versus Greg. Lecturer versus student. What What will happen? What can go wrong for Jack? Will Jack take the win or will Greg Okay, from what we've seen in the chat, it? we've we've seen that we're getting, we're, apparently some hate's going towards Greg right now. We're not hating on Greg. We're just telling the truth. Greg has played a lot of Street Fighter. He has a lot of experience with the game. Yeah. So, Greg might know the know the combos and know the skills and know how to do your levels, but... Jack Cage is a wild card. In the Smash tournament that was done not too long ago, he was able to clinch it out and went from being in the loser's bracket first round to coming third in the whole tournament. Um, coming third? He came third. Came I, third in the Smash tournament? Of course I knocked him out, but... Has he ever played Smash before? He had not played Smash before that, so... Let's see what's happening. So, uh... Turns out Greg went to play a one instead of player two, so we'll just have to change that. Yes, unfortunately the names are wrong around, but, but we will. We'll fix it. Um, so they're starting off the fight now. All right, Ken's getting a few hits in here. All right, you can clearly, you can very clearly see the experience showing from Greg. As he's able to hit his combos very well with the tattoos and the short you can hit him into the middle Able to get the heavy kick. Tattoo coming out from Ken. Jack on very low health. Jack's got to be very careful here. Jack has to be extremely out careful with Honda. However, Honda has very oh. little, however, Honda has very little pressure from range. So Ken will take that round. Got a few supporters for Jack in the, yep. in the chat at the moment. Uh, Will be nice to see someone who hasn't got as much experience win the game. Yeah, that'll be very nice to see. But, uh, it originally wasn't meant to be Greg playing in this tournament. It was meant to be Ashley, but unfortunately he is teaching. So we had to get a sub. So I guess Greg will. It's students versus lecturer in this game. This tournament. is the level 2 super. That is unfortunate. Yeah, not Getting the drive parry one. off just to get the, build the driver back up. Misses the drive impact. Right, kind of getting pressured by the Honda here from Jack. But the grab, of course, throwing to this other stage so he can use the Hadouken to pressure him more. And Jack on his last piece of his health bar for this game. And Greg takes game one with the sure you can finish. And he does get knocked out. It's very clean from Greg. Both that was fans. very clean. You can clearly see the experience showing there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, years of experience has got to come with. Uh, <laughs> got to come with some experience, with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, some very, very good players. At least you hope so. And they're going for the uh, next round now. What are you hitting? The whiff of the sure you can weird, but yeah. Either way, we keep going. We're kind of trying to keep the pressure against Jack here. Gets the grab on him. Slams him to the ground. But, however, Jack is able to hit a good, a few good counter moves. Though. Jack getting on low health two. again. And the level one whiffs! And the drive impact whiffs. But Jack unable to create any pressure from it. So Greg looks like he will be taking round one of the second match. See there, Jack was just trying to get him behind. He was just trying, trying to make sure Greg can't do anything to counter him, but... Unfortunately, that did not go as planned. It didn't planned. go as planned, no. He got hit into the air and knocked out. Going again now. This is a tight but it's okay. He hits the kick to the shin, that's gonna hurt. Jack getting the, getting the jabs in. Although I have noticed in this game, Jack is playing on classic controls with Fonua players. That is 
commonly seen as the harder control set to play on because you have to actually put in di directional inputs to the super move or the special move. See, Greg's on lower health than Jack now. Greg is currently on lower health, but can Greg Jack take this game? Able, Greg, I reckon he'll be able to pull this back because he has another one super and he knows how to use it. Jack jumping like on a yellow. bunny around the field right now. Oh! Here's the 100 hand slaps. It's very close round. Good, and Jack takes the round. What an upset. Jack takes the, underdog the round for taking that. the second round. Knocking him out. Two. And we're in the final round of game two now. As casters, we're not meant to be biased, but I am personally rooting for Jack as he is the underdog in this tournament right now. Yes. I mean, anyone who's the underdog, we naturally go for. We naturally, we naturally, naturally go for. Yeah. It's, it's a nice thing to see, yeah, the uh, underdog finish. winning. Jack is on lower health than Greg. Not by much though, Greg can easily punish that and make him even lower if he wants to. Both, both characters have their level 3 supers right now. Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, the level 3 coming out from Greg, and it connects! Oh. That will finish off E Honda for this round and win Greg the match. Knockout. That, that was so a clean. That is 2-1 victory for Greg. And Jack has been sent down to the lower bracket. Both Jack and Isaac now, both in the loser's bracket. Right, so... Jack and Isaac both in the next, uh, in the lower bracket now. Um, just waiting for the next game to start. We will be waiting for the next game to start now. And, yeah, that game was very intense. We saw a bit of a comeback start there from Jack. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was not able to clinch it out and not get the, well, not get the match, but... From, from what we saw, it was very good. It's a very close game. I'm, I'm very impressed with Jack. I mean, even Both though people. Greg has that years of experience, I mean, technically he should have just clean wiped him every time, but he never. And Jack actually got the knockdown on Greg one time. And I think I think that should be an accomplishment for Jack himself, uh, getting that knockdown on someone with years and years of experience. Yeah, Jack definitely was able to put a good fight there. It was a, it was a very good fight, very good fight. And uh, we're just waiting for the players to be ready now. Um, but from what we see on the main screen, obviously the stream can't see it right now, but we can see that both Charlies have picked Zangief, Ooh. which is commonly considered as one of the worst characters in the game. Well, they've but got the same name. Also, one of the meme, one of the most meme characters in the game, which is why I believe they both picked this character. Well, two two people with the same name going against each other, picking the same character. Yeah, so let's let's Classic. get into this now. Classic. Hopefully, this will be a good match. Both big Russian bodybuilders. He kind of looks like The Rock. Do you not think? He is Sangu a lot bigger than The Rock. Looks, looks a bit like The Rock. Hopefully, we'll be getting into the game now. So and hopefully, both of them can be a rock in this game and make it last and give us a lot of commentary to do. We want levels. We want finishing moves. We want drives. We want to see all the super moves. We want to see the drive impacts. Everything. We want to see the drive rushes. We want to see the drive parries. We want to see the regular super attacks. We want to see everything from these two. We want everyone on low health. Okay, maybe not. Maybe wow. Now, I want to see at least Except, one perfect in this tournament. Well, maybe maybe Jack, uh, Greg, on low health. Yeah, we want Greg, maybe, on, we want maybe Greg, Greg on, on low health. health. But everyone else, <laughs> we want to be full HP and getting perfects. And there so we here go. we go, into the Zangief stage, into Zangief. Charlie versus Charlie, the only time on you'll see it. On the Zangief stage as well. It's kind of perfect. And none of them have gone for the attack yet. Getting the punish counter. And he gets uppercutted to the head. Ooh, landed on them jabs. The whiff driving pack from Charlie. This is going to be very confusing. Both characters with the same name, played by people with the same name. It's going to be very difficult oh. to commentate over this match right now. I'm just going to say Red Zangief and Green Zangief. But Red Zangief putting on a lot of pressure right now. Green Zangief seems to be getting punished quite a lot for his whiffs. Oh, the SPD coming out from the Red Zangief. Oh. Take the first round. And Green Zangief gets knocked out. That's Charlie with the Y. <laughs> Charlie with the EY gets taken with the out. The EY. While Charlie, Mr. Lie, takes the first round. We're going again here now. Some very strong hits. We have Charlie or Charlie versus Charlie. Charlie. Oh, with the Air SPD coming out from Red Charlie. <laughs> Green Zangief getting a lot of pressure in. Hits the drive impact without the punish counter. Both players are really flexes the muscles there. Hits health. the drive impact. Unable to get the SPD off it though. Does it a bit too late? Green Zangief needs to Hits the SPD out now. one more time. He needs one more SPD to clutch out this game. 
Charlie with an EY. Green Zangief is on very low He's health. on the ropes right now. Hits the, hits the drive impact with the punish. He needs to be very careful. Oh, and the reverse get drive out. impact to counter. Charlie with an EY right now. Really struggling. Hits the SPD though. It's a very close game right now for both of them. One grab from Zangief will finish off this game. Green Zangief on very low health. And that's going to finish the game. him. This, okay, this is the game I'm most excited for. This entire tournament. This is creating a lot of tension and drama because they tension. both have the same moveset. Oh wait, they might be switching characters though. That is unfortunate. Will I wanna, we I see, see a switch? Match. Are they going to do the mirror match one more time or will they switch it up? Oh, will the winner switch characters? I don't, I don't Are know. Are they going to go for the double dolsim? They're, they're going go the go to go for it. Double dolsim here. Double dolsim. We said they switch characters, so, so they switch to the same us, character. But they've gone for the same character. They're doing again. this just to spite us, I reckon. They just want to confuse us but and the viewers. I know for a fact before the, before this whole tournament started, Charlie Red Red Zangi from last game and Red Dalsim in this game was laughing at Dalsim's character as he's he's a bit stretchy, a bit, bit like stretchy. Luffy from One Piece, you know. But like he's he's quite stretchy as you can clearly see. Yeah. So I believe that's why they picked this character. Right, we're going into game two of the series now. Maybe Blue kind of Charlie this time. Maybe Blue Dolphin this time can take the win. Blue Dolphin gets a uh, hit on him. Both of them kind of just playing the neutral game right now. Not one. Of, okay, one. There's a hit. There's another hit. <laughs> well, with these long arms. They seem to be kind of doing the same moves. That's going to come out of nowhere with Fireball. It's a very good oh, the Fireball with the anti air. Manages to catch that point. Unable to miss, miss the Dolphin. Unfortunately, hits the Dolphin that time. Fire. Blue Dalsim right now, creating a lot of pressure into the corner. Looking for the slide. The Blue Dalsim hits the drive impact. Oh, the pilot parry coming out from Charlie. The red Charlie. It's very awkward to It is very awkward to commentate. I will give you that one. The drive impact coming out from Blue Charlie. Oh, Blue Charlie gets the KO on Red Charlie. Out of oh, nowhere, did anyone I see that? I wasn't even looking at the screen, my apologies. Blue Charlie coming out with a round one of match two. I think it was just a casual jab, I believe. It sets him on fire. Yeah, the fire coming out Returning from Red Charlie, it. but Blue Charlie hits him with the drive impact. Unfortunately, able to get another knockout. They're still going at it now. This is a very even Trading game. Punches. It might not look like it, but it's a very even game right now. 80 seconds left on the clock. The drive impact whips from Blue Charlie, so Red Charlie does his own and hits him. Both Charlies both on very even health right now. Still a very close match. They're both still very even. They're like the twins. The blue. They're both very even on both HP and rounds right now. Wow, we've got the same name versus the same character. It's hard, isn't it? Unfortunately, he does a super move, but doesn't quite hit. Both on yellow. Both one, eight, one HP right now. Blue Charlie takes the second game. Every single match in this tournament so far has been 2 1. Was it Greg 2 0 sweep? Nah. Did, did Greg 2 0 sweep? No, he didn't, no. Did he not? Did Jack take a game? I don't think so. I think he took a round yeah. to game. Either way, Greg won. Either, yeah, Greg, and he's into Greg the next just, round anyway. Experience. Now they're playing the Italian gladiator, Marissa. Uh, of course, they're both picking they're the same character. They're both going to the same again. This is going to be a very interesting third match because Marissa plays a lot more like Zangi. So this could be another potential Charlie victory, Red Charlie victory. But either way, we need, we do know one thing. Charlie is going to win. Yeah, one of them. No, just Charlie. Just, no, just Charlie. We're not going to yeah. specify which, but Charlie is going to win. Someone called Charlie will win this round. Let's see how this goes. Red Charlie already getting the pressure in. Trading but punches. Blue Charlie able to get in more. Oh, the drive impact counter coming out from Red Charlie. Ooh. This is intense. Blue Charlie get, get getting a grab on him. Lot. Marissa is one of the highest damage dropping characters in the game. So this could be very interesting here. The super coming out from Red Charlie. Ooh. Red Charlie on very low health now, he's in his yellow bar. But Marissa with Marissa's damage output. Oh, never mind. Blue Charlie able to take the first round of match three. Wow, you could say your prediction was correct. My prediction is correct. Charlie Charlies. is winning. Charlie is winning, yes. Oh, yeah. Drone connecting for Red Charlie here. I guess I'll be cutted. We're playing neutral right now. And Red Charlie connects with the level 1 super. 
trading. Oh, it's trading hits in the neutral game right now. Red, uh, looks like Blue Charlie is trying to get Red Charlie into the corner, maybe. Create some pressure. Never mind, he's kicking him out of the corner now. So I don't want you in now, I want you in the mid round, so I can show you off the record. Red Charlie on very low Blue half. Blue Charlie creating a really good pressure right now. Red Charlie, come out with the super again. Ooh. What a hit that was. The drone back counter coming out from Blue Charlie. Both Potentially on yellow take the game. And Blue Charlie takes the game. Blue Charlie does, in fact, win this set. Now we have our next game coming up soon. We have our next game coming up, which will be again, which will be Harry versus Kyle. Now, from what I know, Kyle has a bit of extre uh, a bit of Street Fighter experience, not as much as Greg. Greg's got a, a lot, but yeah, Harry. I know Harry has played Street Fighter before, but he is known for his Tekken gameplay. He's a very Tekken. good Tekken player. Tekken, uh, kind of similar games. However, Tekken is just no. a little bit more. You move. Back and forth yeah, you move around a bit, bit more, and the yeah. combos uh, I did, are slightly different. The combos are a bit longer in that game rather yeah. than Street Fighter. There could be infinite combos in that game. However, this game doesn't have. But I mean, mechanics-wise, it's probably it's probably very similar in terms of what you have to do and, and yeah, the, most the most the of the buttons of are very similar. Yeah, so so that could that could kind of transfer as a uh, knowledge. And maybe skill. Harry could easily come back here. Maybe, maybe and it will be nice to see. Uh, one of them getting to the end this game. Can you imagine if we see someone with no experience, with no experience, get a clean Wayne knockout? Someone with experience. This will be clean insane. knockout. All right, here we go into the game. Harry on the Ryu, jury. Oh, Kyle on the jury. This could be a good game. And who do Both we think with the modding controls. Who do we think will take this Ryu or jewelry? I saw Kyle playing before the tournament. He was playing with classic controls though, so I don't know how he's going to do on modern. And Harry. Has that fighting game experience to play the game? Kyle hitting with the OD. I don't want that move cool, but I know it's a forward special. I'm sure you can come out from Harry. Harry being able to create that pressure against the jury. Kyle not doing many much damage to Harry at the moment. Looks like Kyle's only to hit. Oh, never mind. I was into the battle. Ooh, hit one take move, it back. Three. Caster's curse. <laughs> so we can basically say who's gonna win, and the other one's gonna win. Yeah. If we say Kyle's gonna win this game, we, we might just be wrong. And Harry just come back and just destroy it. Let's not try and curse anyone Let's today. Let's not try and curse anyone today unless it's Greg. And Kyle is on very low half. He needs to be careful. And he does Harry get knocked out. Harry takes the first round with the heavy kick. Wow, that was a very... I wouldn't say close game. It was quite one-sided there for Harry, but... We keep going. Sure you can come out on Harry here. Creating a lot of pressure on the jury. Kyle unable to do much against this. Not able to get a chance to react. I'm sure you can again come in out from Harry. He's able to create pressure, keeping him on the knockdown. Can Harry get this quick clean sweep with Kyle on one HP? We get the perfect KO from the perfect Harry. Knockout. The first round ends with a perfect. Good job from Harry. I honestly thought this game would be a lot closer. But from what we've seen so far, Harry has been dominating this game. Dominating. I don't think we've seen a game as as far apart in this tournament, the Harry getting the perfect health and Kyle getting knocked out. From what we've seen so far, Kyle, he has some experience with the game, but I'm not sure if it's as much as Harry does in fighting games. Kyle has to switch it up from the jury and go to the Marissa. A lot more heavy damage compared. The jury's more of a speedy character with less damage. Marissa's more of a heavy hitter with slower hits. So this could be a very good game here. That's very interesting. Look at the hype between the two. I didn't notice that, I didn't notice you that. didn't notice the height I noticed it's quite, it. It's quite big. We will see it side by side now though. We will see how how big the difference is. That oh, is a wow. Big, look at the reach difference as well. If this was a regular fight in like boxing in the real world, Marissa would take this easy. This I don't even go ahead. The pressure, though. Even fair. Both playing neutral, both getting good anti -airs. A bit, bit rabbits, they're both being rabbits right now, just jumping around here. Yeah, a little bit like kangaroos. 80 seconds left on the clock. Well, if, if we're facing off the first game, Harry was the mother kangaroo and Kyle was just in a pouch. He got absolutely destroyed in that first game. But, however, Ooh. Kyle's coming back and is able to win the first round of this game. Kyle not even going down to half HP. He didn't even, get into he didn't even go down. Didn't even go below 50. He's just that guy. Off the the sure you can to anti air. The Gladiators coming out from Marissa. The Super coming out from Harry. 
Kyle going low. Kyle is still hopping around a little bit. Making it a bit more predictable for Harry to get his moves off. Because I just don't want Harry to get a very good. Kyle does not want Harry to attack. react. Because the reach would be insane. Yeah. The damage is just mad. Marissa could hit two moves. Both two players on yellow. They're both very low right now, but Marissa could hit one move and it will be over. Whereas Harry has to hit a few moves, as you can clearly see there. One more sure you can might finish it though. However, Kyle comes wait. Kyle oh. comes back and wins the second game. One more shoe from needed. That was one more hit from Harry needed to take that game. But Marissa grabs Ryu's body and claims it as her own. Will Kyle take the last game of this series? You might see a character switch here coming out from Harry. I feel like Kyle should stay as the same character. Kyle has to play the same character well. because he won that game. But the loser yeah. is able to switch between games. Harry making the classic switch from Ryu to Ken, as most people do when they are younger, because Ken looks cool. Ken looks cool. Ken does look cool. Has he got any benefits to him? Ken in Street Fighter, from what from what I know about Street Fighter, I know, I know quite a bit, I've played the game quite a lot. Ken is mechanically a better character. He has more options compared to Ryu. Ryu only really has a Shoryuken for pressure, whereas Ken has his Dragon Lash Kick, his Jinrai, he's got his own Shoryuken, he's his Hadouken. Ken has a lot more options than Ryu. So he is objectively a better character. There's a, okay, here we go, into the game. Hitting the sure you can straight away. Hitting the double sure you can get the anti airs. Getting the anti air himself from Marissa. Sorry, didn't hit. That's the thing with Marissa. Marissa. A lot of Marissa's moves have super armor behind them. So even if he gets hit once, he's still going to get that super move through and do majority more damage. Over there, he didn't charge it enough. Kyle oh, getting to low health now. Kyle getting a lot lower than he would like to be right now. Harry being able to keep up the pressure with the Tatsu. Kyle on yellow health. Harry only needs and one more finished. hit. Harry really still needs one more heavy hit to finish off this round. But can he come back like he did in the first round? Oh! Can he come back in the first game? Can, he come can back Harry take it? And Harry, and takes, Harry it. takes the first round! This is by far the most intense match we've had in this tournament so far. And Harry goes through to the next. The next part in the bracket. Oh no, not yet, not yet. That was the first round. Don't cast it, first round. Still got at least one round, at least two rounds left. No, at least one. Right, if Harry takes it. If Harry takes this next round, he'll move on in the bracket. Yeah, yeah, at least one, at least one. Maximum two. But Harry seems to be quite low. He seems to be a lot more comfortable with the Marissa matchup right now. Able to block a lot of Kyle's hits and counter. When he whips. Finding Marissa's weakness there with the character he's picked. Yes. The OD coming out from the final unfortunately is counted. And Harry takes the victory. Harry takes the victory and goes into round two. Harry takes the 2 1 victory over Kyle. What? A now we game. have the first match of our winner's bracket here. And, uh. Just going in, just making sure everything's all right. Um, and so, who have we got next then on the okay on the board? We're gonna take a little like a few minute break just to talk about the that whole first round of the tournament. There, the first match, Isaac and Nathaj. We saw Nathaj's first round did very well against Isaac Blanca, but then the second round, Isaac was able to kind of predict Nathaj's movements and his supers and clinch out a win. But then obviously yeah. Nathaj did the same to Isaac and was able to prepare. And um, so Isaac was able. Oh no, Isaac, Nathaj was able to take that first win and advance to the winners bracket. And on terms of uh, experience, it was a given that Greg should win. But I mean, Jack. I Jack feel like Jack nearly brought it back. He won that round. He looked like he was going to do it. He created a lot of pressure against Greg with the Honda. But unfortunately, Greg's experience just. I mean, Jack didn't win a round. He did, he did win one round, but not, not a game. I, yeah, he won one round, not a game. So, but unfortunately for him, he is in the loser's bracket. But that right one now, round could have changed the whole thing to make it 2-1 instead of 2-0. Very unlucky, very unlucky. But Greg was a very good player that match. And um, just sorting out brackets, making sure everyone's in bracket order, making sure everything's all right. So, yeah. so I was actually wrong, by the way. We are going to go into losers bracket. Losers now, now. bracket, of bracket round one. 
So this first match is going to be with Isaac and Jack H. Isaac and Jack H. And we're just waiting for the players. Hopefully they know who's playing and what they're playing. We need Isaac and Jack H to be playing. Isaac and Jack H need to go up to the plate. And it's going to be a very interesting match. It'll be a very interesting match because Isaac and Jack H both tried a lot of improvement during the games. So hopefully they'll both be able to do quite well and it'll be an interesting match for sure. Oh yeah. Jack H was obviously able to create a lot of pressure against Greg. And Isaac was able to clinch out a whole game against Nartage. So yeah, hopefully... We get this going soon. You see, uh, also in losers round one, we have Charlie and Kyle. How, how do you think that game? That would be a very pre- interesting match, depending on who Charlie who Charlie plays. Because with his Zangief, he was able to do very well. Right. His Delsim and Marissa were a bit, a bit worse for wear. But if he just plays Zangief against um, Kyle's Marissa or Jury, I reckon he'll be able to do quite well and potentially take the game and take that round. Obviously, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jinx it or anything. Kyle could easily come back, but yeah, hopefully we're gonna get onto the Jack H I mean, and Isaac match here. It's been kind of a kind of a coincidence that Ryu has been the one of the main characters in this tournament, and he is just standing he is right just there. Right there, of course, yeah. <laughs> with yeah. the green screen coming out from the Looking over there, the yeah. teams. Well, I've kind of been blocking him the whole and time. Just, just seeing who's I gonna pick him. Ryu. Yeah, we apologise. Yeah, we're well, sorry. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just making sure everyone's everyone is getting ready now, um, picking their characters and yeah, they're, their they're control types. Just picking their characters, and it seems like Jack H is gonna pick the Marissa. Ooh, Jack right. H gonna pick the Marissa. Isaac sticking with the classic. Going chain. into the game now. Oh, this is even bigger of size difference. Than it was really See, I feel like really. Jack H has picked Marissa because of the game he's seen last time. Yeah, he saw the two. He saw last the game time. between Kyle. And Harry and Charlie and Charlie and saw how good Marissa can be and and decided to pick it out. I've got to pick that character. The height and reach is insane. insane. (laughs) Damage up of Marissa is the highest in the entire game. Jack getting a few strong hits off. Jack Hitch getting the early pressure against Isaac with potential kicks to get the anti-air in from Isaac there. (coughs) Pardon you. (laughs) Super armor punch from Marissa there. And Isaac Jack H can barely even any HP now. here. Isaac with the drive and pipe to get the pressure up. Although unable to get much damage off of it. Jack H seemingly a lot better right now. Isaac on yellow. Isaac one hit away from death. Drive parry coming out from Isaac, taking no damage. Potential kicks Ooh. coming out from Isaac. Jack needs one hit. I think he might be panicking right now. Knowing he might need one hit and he might not be able to get it. But no he does! And he takes the first round of losers round one. But it was very interesting to see Isaac went down to yellow half quite quickly. But was able to come back and bring Jack yeah. to low HP as well, yeah. I know what you mean. Brought Jack back down to yellow half as well. It was very close round. Dodging the driving pack, getting pressure on his own. I'm just training a few I'm hits. Training a few hits in the neutral game right now. Jack seems to be coming out on top on the neutral game. Yeah, Jack on very high half, Isaac on very low half, completely the opposite. Yeah. Isaac getting a few hits off. Just trying to bring Jack down to his level. And, and he Jack does get takes knocked the first out. game of losers run one. And he takes Chun Li's body as his reward. And hands it back over to the medics so they can get him ready for the next round. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yep. That's we how, that's how this game works. Here right now. Behind the scenes, behind the game. I'm just going to add it. It's really warm in this room right now. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> We're glowing, guys. We are glowing. We are glistening right now. I'm very nice. Isaac getting the other back but Jack, the damage output from Marissa is able to prove to beat out Isaac's pressure. So the Tensor Kick able to count as some of Marissa's good fat supers. We will see how this goes. Isaac able to do a bit of foot tease over the Marissa there with the supers. Try them. Such a good move. Especially for these newer players who aren't really used to reacting to it. Every time Isaac Drive just tries impact. to bring him down to his level, Jack just comes back and takes him down even further. However, down. Isaac with the lead right now. Both in Might yellow. Be able to clinch out this round. Isaac just needs one more hit Isaac and he gets takes it! The round. Good job, Knockout Isaac! I am for not Isaac, Isaac I playing Chun Li. Chun Li is a very good character in this game. However, most people with classic controls do tend to stay away from her because of her charge usage. 
The drive reversal coming out from Isaac there. A move we've only seen Isaac do in his entire tournament. Drive reversal, obviously, a move where you have to be blocking to be using. Very difficult to manage a mechanic to get down when you're a new player. Just proves how skilled mechanically Isaac is in general, not just in this game. I seem, I feel like Isaac gets down to low health quite often, but and then can always bring Jack down. Isaac, I feel like, I don't know whether it's Isaac knowing the matchup better, or if Jack's just folding under the pressure a little bit. Let's see, Isaac's on one However, hit now. Jack and takes the round very clean. He does get hit and get knocked out. Not even out. going below 70% HP. On quite HP there, Jack. He managed to keep away from, uh, from Chin Lee. the final round of round one losers. Whoever wins this is out of the tournament. Not many hits going on, Jack. Jack seeming to be doing all the work, but Isaac just coming low again and trying to bring him down to his level. Isaac's unable to get the pressure on and get the high damage output that Marissa can afford. Isaac on yellow Unfortunately, HP Unfortunately, it looks like Jack H is going to take this round and, and Isaac is out of the tournament. Isaac definitely put in work though. Definitely did very well. I will give him that. Yep, and that's Isaac out of the tournament, unfortunately. Very good player. And very good player. Um, now it is Charlie and Kyle now. Jack H one step closer to getting himself back into the into the winning bracket. Yeah, we could see uh, same kind of situation as we did in the Smash tournament when Jack was in loser's bracket first round and then managed to get into loser's finals. However, lost it there to your one and only me. So <laughs> <laughs> I right, have to gloat that a little bit. Trent, uh, Ryu, very, very sad that he wasn't a part of that matchup. Ryu, yeah, sorry. Very, lads. very sad. You've been a part of almost every game so far. He's had, we need someone else to have a bit of screen time, you know? But we have got Charlie versus Karna, and who do you think will win? This is going to be a very interesting matchup. If Charlie's able to play like he did with the Zangief in the first round, yeah. I reckon he will take this set. However, if he does not play the Zangief, which I don't know if he will... Kyle seems to be picking Marissa now. And uh, starting the game, Kyle versus Charlie. Kyle picking Marissa and Charlie. Yep, so Kyle on the Marissa, Charlie on the jury. On the jury. Okay. No, I didn't know the character <laughs> name. That is unfortunate. And with a different colour <laughs> as well. So getting, said it. getting a bit of variety, you know? We like a bit of variety. You it makes like it look variety. a little bit colourful. Do you like a bit of variety? Yeah, he said yeah. <laughs> he doesn't talk often, that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, he needs to probably speak more. And uh, trading hits. Kyle just coming out on the trading. Charlie going on the lower half now. Not not too low, but getting there. Charlie able to play a bit. Having playing a bit, keep away here because he's on a lower HP. I think since that uh, one game, I think where it was Harry versus Kyle and that Marissa was played, people have been playing it. People have been playing Marissa since a lot then. now. I think they've realised how much damage that Marissa can truly output. Oh, and Charlie was knocked out. I, I was looking at you the whole time. Out of nowhere. Charlie just... I don't even know what happened. You've seen him fall on the ground. Jury just didn't get back up. Jury just didn't want to get back up. She was like, no, I don't want to fight this Italian She just lady. fell asleep. <laughs> The level one super coming out from Jury here, connecting into the Marissa. Oh, what? What a hit that was. Surprisingly hit. Oh, actually, I'm surprised that hit. Very good anti -age. Very hard. Very hard to hit. Very hard to connect that sometimes. Especially with Jury, it's kind of awkward. Uh, Kyle able to keep his corner pressure up against Charlie here. Charlie's half going Charlie. quite low now. Can Charlie bring Kyle down Charlie to his half? bring Kyle down to his level. Getting forward with the, and with yes, the he forward does. special. Charlie brings it down Charlie and goes even lower. Charlie the forward special constantly. Can he get the win here with the forward special? Oh, Kyle brings... And he oh! takes the win with the forward special. He was down. And he manages to switch it around and finish Ch Kyle To be fair, from what I saw, he did use his forward be a, a bit too... Oh, his forward special a bit too much there. Getting the super off there. Well, what works, works, guys. What works, works. If it works, you don't change it. And Charlie knew that. Charlie knew that. Anyway, Charlie getting Kyle on a bit of low health now. Uh, not too low. Probably about, what, 60%? Uh, that is around 65%, yeah. You can't bring your Charlie down to the same level. 
Kyle able to do a lot more damage than Charlie can output though. Charlie just has to rely on Jury's speed and hope that he can hit before Marissa can. This is going to be a very interesting last round. Charlie now into the yellow. Kyle also now into the yellow. Kyle with the critical R. Charlie hits the super. Can this finish it? No, it cannot. Can but Kyle finish one more Charlie. hit from Charlie should finish this off. But can Kyle... Kyle gets Ooh. the hit first. Kyle taking round one. With only 10% of health left. How has he managed to do that without getting hit? He does take that round one. We are just waiting for him to get into the next... All right, we're going into game two here. Going into game two. Charlie, you know, fifty percent half, going down to probably about twenty. Oh, he's on thirty percent right now. Thirty percent half. However, Charlie is very consistent with these supers. We're able to hit them quite consistently. And Swing Kyle the into round. the air every time. Back and be able to hold his own. With the drive impact, will he be able to get anything off it though? Kyle, about one hit away with now. With the super again. Charlie finishing off Kyle with the super. That is the second that, super finish we've seen in this entire tournament so far. That was the first one being obviously from Greg. Super. So Charlie needs to take this next round to go through. Into round two in the losers bracket. We've got Charlie and Kyle trading kicks. Well, Charlie and Pax. Kyle just losing half a little bit there. Kyle unsure what to do right now as Charlie is just creating a lot of pressure against him. Driving that whips, unfortunately. Let's see if Charlie can take this round. Or will Marissa do Marissa thing that one? Kyle going down under 30% now. Probably Currently Charlie 20. is able to get the super off as well. Charlie seems to be improving quite a lot in this tournament. Goes part. down to about 5%. Kyle is only about one hit away from death right now. And Charlie takes the second game. Kicking him up into the yeah. This match is knockout. getting intense. Jury so far in this tournament, we've seen a lot of improvement from Charlie. We've seen a lot of improvement from Charlie. A lot of improvement. I'm not sure what's happening here. Should we rematching or selecting new characters? I don't know why player one, then watch replay. <laughs> I believe there it is 1-1 one, one in this set. It is now 1-1 one, one in this set. One more game to finish it out. Starting out with a forward special. Into the drive impact. Can't Charlie taking a bit of half down. Showing clear mechanical dominance over Kyle right now. Charlie is draining Kyle's heart. With the wall splat as well. Oh my. Charlie is actually able to just... Charlie, not lost a speck of health, and I've no. just jinxed you him. You just jinxed it, Alfie. We could just see another perfect him. KO there from Charlie, but no. You had to ruin it. Saying Charlie's health is going down to the same level now. Kyle doing very well to bring that back. Oh, Kyle able to block that, though. Kyle is able to react to Super this time, unfortunately. And Charlie losing health Charlie quickly. Charlie is unable to react to this now, and Kyle is just able to put the pressure 10 on. 10%, 4 percent and on. he's gone. He is knocked out clean. On the floor. One more round and Kyle will advance to round two of the loser bracket. Charlie with a lot of pressure on him now. Jury able to hit for special. Going down to probably about 55% half. Maybe even a little bit more. That's about 60%. Uh, yeah, so my eyesight isn't very good, yeah, clearly. <laughs> I haven't got any glasses on. <laughs> And uh, both teams just, just... Both teams kind of just playing neutral game right now. They're Seeing will make a move, then Charlie comes in with a drive impact. Kicks him up into the air. an impactful yeah. impression. Yes, yes, yeah. I've seen what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle knows he Kyle needs to get this unable. Without giving Charlie a chance. Charlie is able to drive impact, but the super... Charlie on 10%. Kyle, and now Charlie has to glitch past do a desperation super. And Kyle takes the win, advancing him on to round two of the loser's bracket. Kyle not letting Charlie have a chance to get that one back. Kyle there uh, did a very good job. And, uh, how do you think that match went? That match was very intense because from what we saw, Charlie improved a lot. He did yeah. definitely have a lot of improvement in that game. But now... This next match, okay, I don't want to talk about that last matchup too much. 
Because this next matchup is the biggest it's one. It's very, very big. This matchup we have Nataj versus Greg. Nataj, Nataj versus Greg. Showing his dominance against Isaac. Shows a lot of improvement in the game. Yeah, just. We've got Nataj versus Greg in round two of the winning bracket. This could be a good matchup. Who will get sent down Into the to face bracket. Jack Hyatt in, in the, the losers bracket? bracket. Rio versus Ken. Oh, we're actually wrong, by the way. Whoever, whoever wins this or loses this game will be against Kyle. Whoever loses this game will be against Kyle. Right, the classic matchup. Yep. Ryu versus Ken. It's Greg on lower health than Nathaj at the moment. But... Greg is able to put a lot of pressure on. Well, Nathaj is able to put a lot of pressure on Greg. Currently, out zoning him. Tactic coming out from Greg, but Nathaj is able to block and counter it. Tactic coming out from Nathaj. Nathaj's just drive impact. It's a drive impact. But unfortunately, impact. unable to get anything off it. So he tries to grab the drive impact. Man, the round off's kicked in twice. It's got a back one out from Greg. Starts, this is where it starts to be mean. Nataj's getting very Oh, never mind. Though. He's not bullying his students. He's Nataj's getting bullied bringing, by his students. Nataj's bringing Greg down below him. And Greg trying to match that health. I feel like if anyone beats Greg here, he's going to like kind of impact on our grades a little bit. Could potentially be a bit lower grades. But <laughs> if Greg does that, then... Me. 40 seconds left on the clock now. You see Greg missed the... Nataj's one hit away. Two. Both characters right now, unfortunately. Greg takes the win, but both characters are very low there. Nataj oh, yes. put up a very good fight there. Greg's still left with 10% health. Very, very, very close. And we do go into the next round. Nataj getting a lot of hits off from Greg. But that happened the same time last round, and Nataj did end up losing. Greg getting drive impact now. Oh, that's fine, the same. And uh Greg is able still to trade in get here. put into the corner here. We haven't seen many level moves, have we? Like level one, level We've two. seen we've seen a few. Uh, mainly many, from though. Charlie last game. So yeah. he, was able, he was able to do quite a few level ones. Greg was able to do a level three against um, Jack Hicks to finish that's that off. That's true, that's true. And Nartaj on low half. Nartage. Greg and Nartaj They're on low very half. Very low right now. Greg very, very low. And, and Greg has not takes up the one. win against Nartage. Greg. Holy. That was unexpected. With the experience, Greg gets knocked out. And, uh... Oh! Oh, the level 3 coming out from Nataj doing 30% to Greg. And he hit every single part Nataj of Nataj could three. win this game. All we need to do is keep up this pressure. Dry parry coming out from Nataj. I think he played and it a little Greg, bit too early. coming out. I feel like Greg's going to start really tryharding now. Hitting him with the level 2. Doing about the same as Nataj's level 3 did. That's the difference between modern and classic. Modern controls do 20% less damage than classic, classic inputs. And Greg now However, on the other half. It does not make a difference right now as Nataj is looking to see Greg on about 20% HP. Will we see Greg lose this match against Nataj? Yes, and we, we do. will! Nataj beating Greg in the second match. Wait, is that the first match or the second match? That's the, uh, the first match. That was the first match! The first game. Oh, we see Greg, we see Greg lose first match against Nataj. Greg 1 0 down. Bit Nataj of pressure on showing, him. no matter what game he plays, he is mechanically good. Whether it's Valorant, whether it's League of Legends, or whether it's League, whether it's Street Fighter, Nataj is him. I'd like to see him come on Rocket League. I wonder if he's I would not like to see that. that. Rocket League is not. <laughs> no. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Yes, I do not care. <laughs> Alright, we're still going here. Here we see again Nataj just putting all the pressure on Greg. And Greg unable to respond. Greg just absolutely getting destroyed in this matchup so far. Greg just can't seem to keep his Nata health. Just able Going to further down so on yellow. He's on 10% half now. Nataj taking round one again. And Nataj with similar Nata's health as last this time. Game back. He could be pushing Greg to lose his bracket. With a 2-0 win. He could push him to Greg. Uh, we see Ditto in chat right now rooting for Greg. Which, um, isn't, why? Isn't allowed. It's not allowed. Yeah, we don't, we don't, uh, 
We do support Greg. Unof unofficial one. We don't, we, we do support Greg, but just not in this tournament. Because Greg has experience. Nataj yeah. started playing this game today and is able to beat someone with a lot more experience than him. Wow. This Man. is the upset of the entire tournament right now. We're not quite playing on an arcade machine made in the 90s, are we? But... Okay, now you just call him Greg Old. <laughs> now you just call him Old. No, we love Greg. We, love Greg. we do love Greg. We do. Except for the fact that he might just take Nartaj down. No, Nartaj hit him Nartage with the drive comes impact. With a drive impact. Both players are very similar HP. Nartaj hitting him with the Odi Tatsu right now. Nartaj drawing up. The level 3 whiffs, unfortunately. Greg's able to get some pressure off that. Greg uses his level 3, but it connects and doesn't quite go to Nartaj. Both players are about 1 HP right now. But Greg takes that round. Greg takes the round. With the chip damage, it looked like. No, it was not chip damage. My apologies. But and if Nartaj we'll... had kept blocking, because he was in burnout, no matter if he was blocking or not, he would have still taken damage from Greg's hits. And with this last final round, maybe, of, the, of this game, this, this could see Greg into of this game of the right series, who do you think will take this? I don't want to say anything, because this could be very even. Not much hitting with the driving packs. But this could see Greg going into loser's bracket. Well, we could go into a game three we of the series. We could go into a game three, and it'll be very intense if that happens. Been a very close matchup. And uh, both players just trading a little bit now. Both using Tartu to their advantage. Greg hitting the drive impact on the Nantage. Will he be able to attempt the super though? No, he will not. Drive right, parry coming out from Greg there. Oh, that's getting low on health now. This is a very intense matchup right now. Just dancing around a little bit. Tartu coming out. Nantage from very low HP. Oh, Greg kind of equalizing it now. Here's the level 1, whiffs it, unfortunately. The sure you misses. Right on yellow. Greg with the anti-air. The level 1 again comes off from Greg, but he misses that too. Nartage on 10%. The wrong whiff, but Greg takes the win. Now it's currently 1-1 one, one in the series. Pushing us into a game. Three. This is very intense. I am... My heart is racing right now. Heart is racing and eyes are open for this last game Final of match this series. Of this winner round 2. First set of winners round two. It's been very Will close. we see Nata pull it back or will we see him move to losers? Both players probably as nervous as they can be. I feel like in this in this tournament today, Nataj and Charlie both showing incredible improvement. And Jack H all showing incredible improvement over the course of their matches. Yeah. Very similar half now. Nataj is just getting Greg hit. is just putting on the zone a bit better. Who will take round one of, of this game final three. game? Of the series. Sure, you coming out from that time, missing unfortunately. And hitting the top here into the driving back. Will he do level one or will he just whip? He whips. That's okay. We 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 do some whipping every now and then. Not much getting great down for low half now. It's nearly going on to yellow. Nataj going Greg on to yellow. Speed. Greg starting to panic a little bit with the parry par coming out from Nataj. Mrs. Dot driving Greg, back. Just trying parry. to gasp for air. Greg doing whatever he can right now to try and survive. Will he or will he not survive this? And I don't think he, he will. He will not. Nartaj takes round one. And he gets game knocked three. out. Gets knocked out. Here we go. Round two of game three. Will Nartaj come out on top to winning two and one? Back. Or will Greg reverse sweep this game? Uh, touch. Both players are very similar how at the moment. Greg on probably about 55% health. Nartaj on 60, 65. Greg getting knocked down to 40% health now. That's not looking Able good to for connect Greg. To level three. This could be it. And he can exit! He's on 1 We're HP! On one HP How right has now? he survived that? Nartaj needs to only connect one hit to kick Greg into the loser's bracket. Will Greg be able to clinch this round out? Or will Nartaj put Greg into the loser's? Greg is hit level 2. It's Knocking him down to yellow. Nartaj just right needs now. one hit. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to watch this match. Nartaj only needs to keep going with it. Oh, he needs to get one hit. And Nartaj takes just... the win. Knocking Greg down into that loser's bracket. Oh my, what an intense matchup. The most intense matchup of this tournament so far. And, uh...
Ooh. And now, that was intense. I was on the edge of my shit the whole time. That is an insane match. And um, Ryu. Uh, Ryu. 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 Ryu takes Ryu the win. Ryu takes the win. Look at him. Ryu looks all Look at Pride. Like Could you imagine if, if it was Ryu that won the tournament and we put him on there? We predicted it. We would have no, predicted it. We're just that guy, you know? We're pretty. We're I thought you were going to leave you hanging. Then that I'm never going to leave you hanging, especially not on straight. Okay, this next it's match weird. is going to be between Charlie and, and Harry. Harry. Obviously, Ooh. Harry with fighting experience. Be a good match. Charlie able but to take Charlie out Dalsam and did. Marissa against them. Charlie did play a very, very good game against the other Charlie. This is Charlie with EY we're talking about. Yeah, this was Blue Charlie. Blue Charlie. The camera going out of focus a little bit. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh, we got we got cut off. <laughs> got cut off. Anyway. Anyway, here we go. Stepping up to the field, we have Ken and Marissa. I do know her name. Because her name's Marissa. On the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you have little experience in this game. I yourself. believe Ken is quite a small character, right? Ken is not a small character. Marissa's just a giant. Well. Yeah. Freakishly large. Have you seen Marissa in nearly every game since that first game she played in? In the game where. Was it Harry and Kyle? Harry and Kyle. No, I believe it was Charlie and Charlie who played Marissa first. Then Might Kyle have been, managed yeah. to switch it up, and then every, almost every game since then, apart from the last one, Marissa has been played. However, Marissa, it seems to be working out for Charlie right now. Both players on about 50% HP and hit the drive impact onto Harry, unable to get enough of it though. Unfortunately, this times it. Yeah, 64 sure seconds you. left on the clock now. Harry on yellow half. Can, Can Charlie, Charlie finish this knock out? him out? All he needs to connect is one hit. Can he do it? Harry getting a few hits off now. And Charlie takes round one. Charlie takes a round one of game one. How do you think that game one went? Was it uh, the, the round one went? Very good round one. That was a very good round one. It was very, very intense, very close. Yeah. Both, both of them are about equal in skill. But Marissa just shows she has more damage output than anyone else. The drive impact again coming out from Marissa. Harry is getting got low now. Harry at about 50%. Can Charlie, bring Charlie down with that. him. Both at about 50% right now, almost even in HP. Trading with Marissa just trying to go low. He's going low most times. Knocks him to the ground. Marissa is able to counter. Charlie with one HP. However, Harry just takes a round because he's able to get Charlie unable to block his moves. Yep. Too fast. Unable to react. Too fast. Too fast. Marissa's just very big, but I feel like she's very slow as well. With some of the punches and some of, some of the things she does. Yeah. Whereas Ken. Now we see Greg in chat complaining about the modern controls. Of course you would complain, Greg, when you lost to a modern Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> and we have both players on very similar health now. Able to go to score you can. And uh Harry on the half and Charlie with Charlie. Still Harry to is down. able to get the pressure. Harry's just trying to wash his hands Putting Charlie into man out. No, Charlie is into the driving pack. Both players on one round of this first game. Whoever wins this will take game one. And Charlie getting on low half. Very low right now. So if Marissa hits one special move, wins. Charlie on one HP. However, Can Harry knock him out? Marissa only with one HP now. It's drive reversal. Very intense round. And Charlie Here getting a few hit. hits off. More than one hit. And Charlie, Charlie takes reversed the win. It. Being on one HP for a while. Now we see another. Winning so far has been a complete upset. Just carrying Ken away. In First game, coffin. we see Nartaj beat Greg. Now, second game, Charlie's beating Harry. With Harry has a lot more fighting experience. The newcomers. Newcomers are taking the game. So, we've just been informed. After this game, it will be best of one. Best of one. It could be very intense. Very intense. So we do have a few rounds to play. Ryu versus Marissa. We were looking over the game now, but from behind us. Now, actually, in chat, complaining about Greg complaining. 
he's making jokes about Greg now. And then Greg will complain about Ashley complaining about Greg complaining. Exactly, and it'll just be an endless complaint loop. Endless complaint. Now we go into this game, Harry now on the Ryu instead of Ken. Something screams Karen in the chat. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Harry with the grab onto Marissa here. Harry's getting low on house. Charlie just. Marissa with the damage output is intense. Both house quite similar. Right Charlie falling behind. Oh, Harry Charlie also falling to his level. So Harry hits draw impact here. He could potentially do Harry a lot of damage. Half. A level one super doing chip damage, so he did a bit of damage, didn't do much, but still. Both players. Both players one hit one away. Hit. And Harry's Harry. hits round one. Harry jumps into the air and just punches <coughs> Marissa into in his face. face. Most would assume that's but in Street Fire it's okay. That's not. No, in Street Fire. In Street Fire it's okay, I said. No, Street okay, we we'll move on from this. Yeah, we'll just move on. <laughs> um, Harry on 75% now. Charlie, both players just trading, just trying to just trying to numb it down, just to both to get. Harry, right, yeah, a lot of pressure on Charlie here. Oh, Making the game very, very very Because I'm sure you can. Both players on seven and a half now. Seventy seconds left on the clock. Charlie is able to get that. Good few heavy punches. And Charlie takes round two. Charlie takes round two. I, I could have swore Charlie was on yellow. No. Charlie was able to keep a close up. That's interesting. This is game two. Uh, if Harry wins this round, I believe he wins the series, no? If Harry loses this, he will lose. If Harry loses this, he'll lose. Very, very, very good level three. That from Harry. Level two. Level three. That was level three. Level three. I don't have a clue. You are still lost. In this I'm game. very lost. Still Charlie lost. on yellow half now. It just gets. Harry pushed. takes the win. Okay, it's now he one. He burns out. One. He burns out and gets knocked out. Worst way to go. We can hear some intense screams right now from the other room. And uh, is that series or no? We've got game we've still got three. Game now. three now. Both players on one win. Both players. Only winning 2 1 each series they win. So, in this, in this game, Harry's on point, no health again. But managing to non back at Charlie. They're going to reach the same level. Whether who will get yellow first. Harry getting punched. 70 seconds left on the clock. Charlie burns out. I don't have to drive him anymore. Harry is a good driver right there, he could potentially win the game. Harry on yellow. We've seen Harry come back from worse though. If Harry keeps going, gets a grab. Harry getting Charlie lower than he is. Into level one super. Into, into block. However, uh, Charlie only needs one hit very and low half now. But Marissa comes in with the damage. Charlie taking round one of game three. Marissa, Charlie and Marissa, they were very low health and then Harry was on top, but they just switched it around. Marissa's damage output. Did not let Harry get away with that. Intense. Harry taking a few hits on him now. Charlie is able to put the pressure on Harry. Harry has not landed a hit yet. You say that and he lands a hit. No, nope, that was drive impact now. Okay, that was But the drive impact will restore the damage. However, Charlie is just able to pressure Harry, putting him into the corner, taking game three with a clean Sweet. Nearly a perfect Nearly a perfect game from Harry there. Oh, from Charlie there. Carrying... Carrying Ryu's body away. Carrying Ryu, Ryu's body away. And we come back to the casting, Bob. And Ryu uh, is crying, actually. Okay. So we just need don't, to don't wipe, his, don't, wipe don't his... Don't watch this, don't watch wipe this. Wipe his okay. tears, wipe his tears. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, there um, so who have we got next? We have got... Next, it will probably be... The losers brackets. Got losers round two. Here we have Greg versus. Oh no, not Greg. Sorry. We have Harry versus Jack H. And Harry has just played, so he's going to be a little bit. Harry, on the, be a bit warmer than Jack, maybe. Maybe on the warm side, but maybe on the burnt out side. You never know until you get into the game. And uh, just getting the players ready now. Transitioning into round one. 
And, uh... Or is it getting a few hits off? Can get knocked out quite a bit. Both trading shots. We do apologize. It's this game fireball. is, in fact, not Harry and Jack. It is Kyle and Greg. Carl and Greg decided to take over from Harry and Jack. Yes, yeah, it's Harry just, just played. Harry has just played, they've given him a break. Be. Greg is on Give the ten. Kyle break. is on the Marissa. That is why we can see the difference in mechanics here. And Kyle on the other half already. Both of Kyle might be able to never mind. Kyle gets knocked I'm out. I'm not gonna speak! Not gonna make a difference. Greg just doesn't give him the breathing room. But Kyle did manage to get Greg on yellow half, and Greg has a lot more experience than Kyle. Then it's so round two, two coming one. out from, Kyle, uh, from Greg there, unfortunately whipping. Greg's, I've noticed Kyle in this whole tournament, Greg's only been able to hit one super attack. Remember, and that was the first super that finished off Shaq Hyatt. Remember, this is, is this only one game now? This is a best of one, so best if Greg wins one. this round, he will be taking this. And moving on. Because we need to move on with this tournament, it's taking ages since everyone goes into a round three at the moment every literally every game except for two have gone but to kyle he's put on his back and he's on yellow half he knocks greg Both into yellow half. into yellow however greg will be able to get 60 seconds left on the clock one here and kyle on one hp and greg takes the win advancing greg on to the next round knocks him out going into the next round of the losers bracket which is losers round three and he will be facing the winner of the next round and we'll be going into uh, we have Harry and round Jack now, now, which is Harry and Jack. Just transition into our camera. This could be a very interesting game here. Although very interesting game. And um, it does seem like we will have to it wait a second. It seems that they've made a mistake. They made a mistake. I apologise. So right we'll, we will just go and make sure that. I'll make sure the players do know that this, that is, this is round of one, uh, best of one. Unless they have gone in with the same characters as last time. Um, wait, I do believe. Transit. Is this all right? It is in fact. Harry and Jack playing this game, however, they picked the same characters, Harry... the same controls, so it did give us a bit of confusion. Harry and Jack. Yeah, they're playing the same characters, playing the same controls. I mean, we wasn't supposed to know uh, that it was the same. But here we go. Harry on low HP, going into yellow. Getting knocked down again. Harry on one hit, and he gets knocked out. Goes in the air. Kicks him right in the face. And gets knocked out. Right, in round two now. Remember, this is only best of one. Harry getting taken down quite a bit. We do apologize. The names right now are a bit messed up. They are unfortunately backwards. We're trying to get up this right now. However, we do see Harry just able to completely club a Jack right now. Jack, yeah. So Harry did take the first round. That was the wrong way around. But Jack, a very low health. And Harry, Harry just completely destroys Nearly Jack gets the there. perfect. And we go on to the now we see, finals. No, we don't. No, we we don't. actually are going to go into losers round three here, which will be Greg versus Harry. Okay. Losers round three. We could potentially see the Ken Mirror match right now. And, uh, we are going to see the Ken Mirror match right now. And we're back with the casters now. That was very, very... How do we feel about that game? I feel like it was very... That game very felt very rushed. I, felt, I won't lie. Very rushed. And I don't know whether it felt rushed or... It was just because it was a game of one. Round of one. Maybe that. But I reckon Harry was just able to dominate Jack that much. And the player's just trying to get the tournament out of the way now. Rushing through it. We've got Ken versus Ryu. Oh, it's Ken versus... Oh, it is Ken versus Ryu. Never mind. Ken oh, versus well, Ryu. I thought I'm, it was a mirror match. I'm correct. I'm correct for once. That great teacher. That is, in fact, that is Greg, Greg the, the teacher. teacher. It is Greg Nike Taylor. Greg versus Harry. It is Gregory Nike Taylor indeed. Stream manager being a bit, a bit, you know, wanted to know the, uh, the full name instead, but you know. Well, yeah. Here we see Harry getting a bit, a bit of pressure there. Greg. Level one coming out, hitting Greg very hard there. Greg and Harry on very similar half now. 
over. Greg is able to get a pressure a few hits in. Off. Putting Harry into yellow. One hit away. And Greg and knocks Greg him out. Greg takes round one with a level one super. And uh, we're in round two now. Greg wins this. He is on. Yeah, we're going. Okay, so, Harry, getting on down a little bit. Greg's still on full health. Or nearly full health. And whoever wins Harry. this game, we'll be moving on to the grand finals of the entire tournament. Into the grand finals. And it's looking like Greg might be taking it. I do apologize, and then loses finals. So whoever loses between Nathan and Charlie will have to seemingly fight Greg to see who takes that game. But Greg able to take Harry out. And uh, coming back to the shoutcasters in the shoutcasting hub. Yeah, we're still here. And we are still here. Uh, I think we've been sitting down for about an hour now. Yeah, we? maybe, I'm maybe starting, even more. Starting to get a bit sweaty. Starting to stick to the chair, you know. You know, stick to kind of yeah. Getting a bit uncomfortable. I mean, it's what 30 degrees outside, but yeah, it feels it's very like hot it in anyway. England, and the camera seems to be, you know. Hello, camera. Camera. I'm you here. Focus a bit more, maybe. No, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. The camera does not want to see you our beautiful faces. Oh, we're here. And we have got Rio versus Marissa in the next round. It's Natas versus Charlie. Although I'm not sure if Natas is meant to be on classic controls or not, and I'm not sure if he knows. Yep, I think Nartaj has noticed he's on classic controls. He will oh. be changing to the modern now. Go on, what's that? Nartaj, you know that? Nartaj versus Charlie. Very intimidating walk in. Greg with a decades of experience, wipe the floor with her. That's what we've been saying. We've been saying Greg's got a lot of experience in this game and just in life. Because he is. In life. How old is he? About like 60? Going on about his. <laughs> 60? He's not that old. He's been playing since Street Fighter 2. If he's 60, he's, uh, he looks very young for 60. Obviously, I'm joking, Greg. Wow, the trading hits now. Charlie nearly burnt out. Nartaj creating out. the pressure. Nartaj's house keeps going down. Getting he goes into Charlie. yellow. Charlie, Charlie needs one more hit and he does get a hit. It does not look like the same Nartaj that beat Greg. And that. That would be round one. Very, very impressive from Charlie. We could potentially be seeing a Greg vs Nartaj rematch in losers bracket right now. If Nartaj Or we could see a Charlie vs Greg match. Okay, so Charlie. Half health. Not touching him. A bit more health than Charlie. Not as good at the advantage. Charlie needed burning out again and again. Marissa is able to put the pressure on. Nartaj goes on to yellow health. Charlie also goes on to oh, yellow he's health. Out now. And he's burnt out. What can Nartaj do? It's driving by, but he gets the super armor. So Nartaj gets wiped out and moves into the loser's bracket final against Greg. We will be seeing this matchup again. And um, this could potentially be very interesting. And that was a very interesting game. That was a very, very interesting game. And have they gone? Right, okay, so. I don't quite know what's happened now. Um, I do believe they've mistakenly put it as a best of three. Mistakenly put it as a best of three? Oh, well, well. If that is the case, then. We, we were told it was supposed we to be best of one. one. But apparently we were wrong. But Blue has burnt out. Charlie has been burnt out now, so Drone Hank will not be. Okay, so. Be great, I guess. Yeah. We don't quite know. No, Greg's not playing, so it will be Charlie and Nartaj. Supposed to be best of one, but we'll take it. Okay, and does get knocked out. 
just some technical difficulty now, just players not quite understanding the, uh, the, the new setup. Yeah, they, they wanted to and they, they didn't follow it, but come on. Either way, I'm still end up the same. And, um, He's now been informed the rules changed again, so now we're going to match the rest of his So forcing us to go back into Master 3, it does look like. Charlie did get knocked down there. And we are just changing the name. Right, okay. So, now touch versus Charlie. It's now 1-1 one, one in sets. 1-1 one, one in sets. Who will win this match? It's last. It's last game. Of the series. That's oh, so going on lower health now. So is Marissa bringing him down to his level. Nartaj on yellow health. Not goes like more on yellow health. Back. He's on 15%. Goes down to 10. Goes down to 5. But he get knocked out. And he does get knocked out. Kicked in the chest. Knocking him out. Okay, so losers will be best of one. Um, whoever loses this will go into the losers final. So fight. Well, Nataj, quite low on half now. Will Charlie go into that finals? Dodging the super, hits him in the super of his own. Nartaj on yellow health. Nartaj very low. And 15 and gets knocked win, out. Gets the 2 1 lead. Marissa again. wins against Charlie and Nartaj 2 1. Now we could see here Charlie beat Greg because realistically, Nartaj beat Greg and Charlie beat Nartaj. So by the transit of property, Greg should lose to Charlie. But we're not in that game yet. We've still got Nartaj versus Greg in the losers' final. I am correct. Final. You are correct. I am wrong. I apologise. I am correct. No, you are not. Oh, no, you are, you correct, are not I mean, correct. I mean, I'm always I meant correct. you. Okay, calm down. Anyway, <laughs> we're going into the losers' final, which is a best of one. And we have Ryu versus Ken in this losers' final. We have seen the battle before. Nartaj did take a 2-1 lead against Greg. Greg getting grabbed and dropped down to the ground. Taking a little bit of health. Now that's going for the low. Oh, the ground impact. Both players just dancing a little bit. Bit of tease, you know? Both players on very similar health. They're not really taking anyone else's health down. But Nartaj just lose a bit of health there. Both players playing it very passive and not trying to be too aggressive as they do not want to lose it. Nartaj obviously trying to keep Greg at a bit of a distance. But Greg just closing the gap. Yeah, he hit with a drive impact though. Then hitting him with grass after. With the OD kick. 50 seconds left on the clock. Half the time has gone. You can see a level 1 here from Greg. Nartaj avoiding it. Yeah, hit Nartaj on yellow. This is not looking good for Nartaj here. 10%. Oh, uh, we have seen Nartaj come back from this. Unfortunately, this is not one of those times. He did get knocked down by Ken. However, that's only one Greg. round. Greg needs to win the one, round. but Nataj needs to win two to get into the finals. The finals will be a best of three just to cover that up again. My player's trading. Okay, the driving pack without a good counter is basically useless. And obviously creating a lot more pressure here against that guy. Just the level 1 should go against the dry parry on it though. Into the level 1 with the dry parry again from the other side. Drive impact comes out again from that guy. I'm having the advantage with the drive meter right now. And the life lead. Can Greg win this and go into the finals? Since he is on lower health and he's on yellow. 
Nafaj is in a very good position right now. Greg just keeps losing health. He needs to try and keep one it. Combo Goes from behind Nata. One combo from either player right now can finish this game. Greg got a hit. But can he turn it's it around? Both, both players on one hit right now. The charge will come out from Nataj. And Greg takes the win. Nataj got the kick. Very but Greg returns it in the face. And Nataj gets knocked out. Greg returning into the that first bracket. bracket. Into the finals. It is now Charlie versus Greg. Charlie versus Greg in the final. Did that game go how we expected it to? Or do you think there was a bit of a... Uh, a bit um, of... Honestly, I don't know. Because I was darkness. expecting... Honestly, Nathalie's played extremely well. I will give him credit yes. for that. For his first day playing the game, he has played incredibly. I mean, they both played incredibly. I mean... Well, I can't really give credit to Greg because he's played a lot more of this game and the past four Street Fighter games. So, yeah. Here we go. There we go. It. Marissa we see the classic Ken. Marissa versus Ken. Some might say that Greg is just Ken. Barbie versus Ken here. No, that's definitely not Barbie. <laughs> That is one it buff kinda Barbie. Looks similar, kinda looks similar. That is one buff Barbie. Buff Barbie. Versus a guy who's just Ken. And uh, here we go. Charlie versus Greg in the finals. Can we see an underdog story right now of Charlie beating Greg? Charlie taking down Greg's health quite substantially. Greg obviously proud of the fact that he's been playing the game since Street Fighter 2. Quite a while ago. It's quite literally Charlie, students versus lecturers. Charlie has only played the game in an arcade before, but that is it. He has no experience with Street Fighter 6. Will he be able to clutch out this round? We Greg. never know. Currently Maybe he has, he's he has a life feed against Greg right now. I think Greg is in yellow. Greg is in yellow. Can we see Charlie put the pressure on Greg and take the first round? And Charlie knocks out Greg in the first round of game one. Of the grand finals. Of the grand Grand and the awesome Grand Finals, my dad, because this tournament has been amazing. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to see Ryu. A game of underdogs. Ryu is still in our hearts. But yeah, but just not on the screen. It's He's in our, screen. in our hearts, not, not on the screen. screen. There you go, Greg, trying to come back. Hits for level 1 super. Takes him into the air. Switch side on him. Hits to drive impact. Oh, Charlie gets burnt out now. This, Greg on this is not looking good nice for Charlie. Nice from Charlie in the feed. yellow. Charlie with the burnt out. However, the level 2 super coming up from Charlie. Doing a lot of damage to Greg. However, that burnt out is still going to be a problem for him. Because Greg can just keep it at a distance here and spam him with the Dukens and still out damage him. Adokan. That is the move. Good job, Arthur. <laughs> However, Greg hits him with the Tatsu here. I mean, it does look like Charlie burnt himself out a little bit there. He did. It, it, it did seem like he overused dry parry a bit much there. Yeah, and that's, that's not something you want to be doing because when you're burning yourself out, you can't you make any damage. moves. You block and you can't do any dry impact. However, if they hit you during dry parry, you get your meter back, like just there. So, Charlie. No how. Trying to put Greg down, and he is managing to, but Greg returning the favour, sending Charlie into yellow. But Charlie able to keep the pressure onto Greg now, as Marissa unfortunately uses the OD attack, wasting the meter, so Greg, Greg can come in and just deal the damage. Well, Greg gets a knockout there. Wouldn't Currently game a one, one in the grand lead. finals. Currently a one zero lead in Greg's favour. Did I see this coming? Yes. Did I want it to happen? Not really. Mm. Debating that question. Uh, although, answer. a lot of people said the same thing for the Smash tournament that happened just before this. And I feel like myself out pretty easy. Yeah, Charlie burnt out. Uh, but Charlie is already burnt out 10 seconds into the match. Well, Greg managed to capitalize on this burnout. He clearly will hit him with the tattoo into the Hadouken. Can Greg send Charlie into yellow? As Charlie still hasn't recovered. Greg is able to punish He goes into yellow. Time. Hits him with a level one, will not finish him. It Puts will him not. into 10%. He's got one hit. And Greg takes round one of game two. If Greg takes this round, he will be the winner of the Street Fighter tournament. That would be... Very, very something. Good. Yes, very, very good. good. But going down into the loser bracket to then come up and win the grand finals. That would be a comeback story. That that you could write that in a million books. 
and Charlie Bunning himself out again. Did he not learn from last time? Unfortunately, yeah, overusing the overdrive mechanic on his moves. But however, Marissa, even without his drive meter, can cause a lot of damage. However, the level one coming out from Greg here. Greg with zero drive meter, or zero super meter. Never mind, he's on one now. But Charlie has the two or three levels. Greg of going down right to now. yellow half. Will Charlie be able to get that? Greg just getting a little bit beat up there. But will he really be able to return the favor? And he kind of does send in Charlie into yellow. Charlie may be panicking a little bit now. Charlie, Charlie takes the round. Gets the KO on Greg. In this game, this round, and this match is currently one all in the round. However, Greg hitting him with a level 2 super, doing a lot of damage to Charlie, getting a great start in this round. Will Charlie be able to get us back, or will Greg take the win? Charlie, and it seems like low. Greg will take the win! For the Street Fighter 6 tournament, Greg takes the win. All his years of and experience wins finally paid off. The Street, the Coventry Crosshairs Street Fighter 6 tournament. And wow, what can I say? That, that tournament was, was. At the start, it was a bit rocky. The first few rounds for each player was a bit rocky, but you could clearly see improvement with everyone's gameplay. Yes. I mean, I'd say the most improved players, in my opinion, were Nataj and Charlie. They just did incredible. Yeah. Charlie's jury was insane. <laughs> there we see Greg celebrating, bragging about his years of experience. And we are going to get an interview with the winner. Oh, the old guy. Bringing him in now. Keep going, old. Have we got, have we got any room to put him? Uh, I'm not really sure if we have room, but... Here we go. Scoot over is. a little bit. Get yourself in the camera, lab. Yep, yeah, I might. I'm just going to have to, like, peek in, like, here, but that's okay. Peek in. Hello. Here we see uh, oh, the winner way. of the tournament. The winner, Greg himself. Hello. So, were you expecting to win when you first came into the tournament? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very, very confident. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, uh, so a lot of the students hadn't played Street Fighter before, and the ones that did have experience were doing production for it. Yep. So, um, I got pulled in last minute as well, uh, to play. Uh, I wasn't originally going to be playing in it because I think. I had probably a bit more experience, and so, yeah. but I was really impressed with it, especially Nataj. I think Nataj was amazing. Player, yeah. He was. He and was got better as, as the game went on. Hi, Amelia. Um, and, and, and yeah, I think Charlie, uh, I think surprised everyone. Both uh, Charlie's did very well as well. Yeah. yeah, like Charlie with a Y, yeah. uh, who played Yuri. Uh, they, they did the, they lost to Charlie with an I, and then they did, Yuri uh, against Kyle. That was Charlie with an IE, not Charlie. Oh right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Charlie, the Charlie that made it all the way to the final. Uh, they, yeah, they did amazing. Yes, Marissa was very uh, good. Yeah. Marissa, and it's, I think uh, Isaac described it best. It's such a new Buster character. So like, yeah. as soon as they found that, like, you could just do that like two hit combo. Marissa's and take, high like, damage is yeah. very intense. And so you had, I, I had to play around it a little bit with Ken. Yeah. Uh, play a little bit of range and then quick quick in and out. But, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Were you yeah, expecting like... Charlie to get to the final with you? Um, I, I didn't have any expectations. Um, after I got knocked into lower by Nataj, I expected Nataj to make it to the yeah. final. So it was a bit of a surprise Charlie making it uh, beating Nataj. But, uh, you know, credit where credit's due, they did amazing. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, on the note of uh, what we've done here today, I think you guys have done amazing as well. Uh, so you. shout out to Alfie, Jack, and Simon, who's just off camera, on. and then also. Get on camera. Yeah, <laughs> now for a second. Yeah, there he is. There he is. We also want to say a thank you to yeah. like our moderation team, uh, Humdan, and our production team, Kieran, Alice, Alice, Alice social media, Paul. Yeah, Jake. and Jake. Jake as well, yeah. yeah, yeah, everyone amazing. did amazing, and same with the Smash group as well. They all yeah. did amazing. The Smash group. That was a very well. fun tournament. They, uh, well. very fun for me. They, they smashed <laughs> it. Uh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Greg tried to <laughs> And on that note, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, you leave. <laughs> well, that was a very good tournament. Um, as our winner there said that he kind of expected to get to the final with his experience, which we kind of guessed that anyway, didn't yeah. we? Um, other than that... There's not much else to say, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching the stream. It's um, been a fun tournament. And we're signing off.